Hi friends, it's Pam from Pam Rocks 50 and today I'm coming to you with a quick empty use video. These are things that um, I've been using for a few months and they're, they're empty now. So I didn't use them totally in the month of March, but here we go. First things first, this little, um, little black dress lashes by Kiss Lash Couture. It's their new, part of their new line. I really love these lashes. They are so beautiful. I don't have them to show you, unfortunately, because I used them. Um, I will say, I probably only got, I think it was four wears out of these, which isn't bad for a drugstore, but um, then when I was trying to get the glue off, they sort of, they sort of ripped. Also, want to let you know, they do have a thicker band, uh, and I normally like a very thin band, but it's, it was very flexible. They were so easy on, easy off, and they weren't super dramatic, but just beautiful. And I highly recommend these. I will repurchase them. I do want to say I picked these up at CVS. And later, of course, after I'd purchased them at CVS or Rite Aid. No, it was Rite Aid. After I'd bought them at Rite Aid, I saw them at Walmart for like $1.50 less or so. So pick them up at Walmart. And I have these baby wipes. Now... I do not take off my makeup with baby wipes. Um, however, I always have baby wipes here because I have nine grandchildren. And right now there's um, two eight-month-olds, um, or almost eight-month-olds. But um, anyway, uh, I always have baby wipes at the house. And I use them as a quick clean on some of my brushes. Uh, I'll just wipe them off. Um, after I've used them and then the next day they're nice and dry in between to get um, further mileage between the big wash so baby wipes okay this uh, sexy hair healthy healthy sexy hair hairspray I liked it well I'm, I'm not sure I liked it it held my hair well but I got it because it said healthy sexy hair and you know I heard that snap crackle when I was brushing through so I'm guessing it's not as touchable as um, as I would would have liked probably won't repurchase it because it's sort of pricey and if I'm gonna go for pricey I'll just get Kenra uh, perfect medium uh, which I really like um, so I won't repurchase that okay Along the lines of hair, I'm having trouble with my hair. I recently went a little bit lighter and uh, I'm letting it grow longer. Well, when you bleach your hair and you're letting it grow longer, um, you're gonna sacrifice the ends. And I am having big trouble with nasty, gnarly, brittle ends. And I think I'm probably gonna have a couple inches cut off, but, um, I went back to when I still had some of this I used to use this solely and then I just sort of got away from it uh, I think I ran out and just picked something up real quick I do love when I love the way it makes my scalp feel I have problems with itchy scalp and this makes me feel so good and I do think it's good for my hair when I was using it I never had problems with the brittle ends um, but you know, it's, I always like to switch things up right now. I'm, I'm using a mix of, um, the Clairol, is it Clairol? Yes. Yeah, Silver lights, the purple shampoo and conditioner. I use that one time and then I will go to Biolage Matrix. I love the Biolage shampoo. I love the smell of it. Um, is it Biolage Matrix or just Matrix? Bio anyway, I use the Biolage shampoo and conditioner. And then, um, right now, this is my my third in the rotation is the when. And I'll probably repurchase it because I'd forgotten how much I enjoyed it. Next up is my Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Cleanser. I love this stuff. And it cleans my face so well. And it's also exfoliating. You can use it as a mask, purifying mask, to help get rid of um, blackheads and, and other 
things that you don't want in your skin. I do really love this. I did not repurchase it because I wanted to try out the, the Lancome um, Radiance Cream Cleanser, but I'll probably go back to this next time. This is the best. Also finished up the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Toner. I love this too because it gets the last residue off, off of your skin. It's exfoliating and it doesn't sting. There's not a lot of alcohol in this. Uh, right now I'm using the Lancome um, toner that goes along with my Lancome Cream Cleanser. And I do not like it as well because I think it's making my rosacea flare up a little bit. There's a real sting involved with it. So I'm mixing it with water on my alcohol, on my, not my alcohol pad, my, um, my cotton pad now to sort of tone it down a little bit. But when it's finished, I will not repurchase that. Just for my skin, it's a little too harsh for my rosacea. So I'll return to Estee Lauder perfectly clean. I love it. Okay, next up is the Equate um, brand of the Neutrogena Eye Makeup Remover Oil-Free. I like this. I, I think it's just as good as the Neutrogena, and it's 3 or $4 less, I think. Um, I pick it up at Walmart, and I will repurchase it. Okay, next up is Dr. Teal's Body Oil in Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. I really like this stuff. I do not use it in the shower because I don't want it to be a fall hazard. But as soon as I am finished, before I dry off, I stand on my my uh, uh, towel out, outside the shower and I put it all on. Then I dry off. Then I put on my regular lotion after it. In the winter, I need, I need that d dual process. I do like this and I love the lavender scent and I will repurchase it. Okay, next up is Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I will definitely repurchase this. Now, next winter, I might try something that is has a bit more um, soothing or radiance enhancing spray, but summer coming up, I will have to have this or my makeup will be melted off. I'm so oily right through the center of my face, and this keeps my makeup looking good, and I will actually have already repurchased. Okay, next up is uh, tea tree oil, Ara, Aracacia, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I picked this up at, I think it's Rite Aid, I get this, um, and I love, I love this um, tea tree oil. I make my own uh, household cleaner with a mixture of water that I've boiled in for three minutes and then let cool, uh, white vinegar and alcohol, and I mix about 30 drops of the tea tree oil and five drops of Dawn in a spray bottle, and I use that for cleaning almost almost all my surfaces at, at home. And tea tree oil is one of the things that I, um, sometimes I'll use peppermint oil and sometimes eucalyptus, but um, tea tree oil is one of the things I, I like to use there. And also I might mix a little a uh, bit in with a uh, lightweight moisturizer and use on areas of my face or behind my ears or just anywhere that needs soothing. Um, I really like tea tree oil. Okay, next is Renewed Hope in a Jar uh, by Philosophy. Uh, it is a really good moisturizer. It is not very heavy and it's supposed to be perfect for people with oily combo skin. What's it say on the back? Um, well, it doesn't, uh, but um, it's refreshing and refining moisturizer. I probably won't repurchase this because it was sort of pricey and uh, for summer coming up, um, not right now, because I'm using a First Aid Beauty moisture cream, but when it gets really hot, and please let it be soon, when it gets really hot, I will use the Neutrogena Hyd Hydrogel um, Moisture Gel. I will use that, whatever that, that's called. It's in the blue jar. That's what I will get. I used that last summer and I loved it. Okay, next up is Sensodyne Extra Whitening. 
I bought this. I have sensitive teeth. And I bought this in hopes that I could whiten and it wouldn't irritate. And it did not irritate at all. But on the other hand, I didn't really feel it whitened either. So I, I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it. Okay. Next up, this Grand Lash MD. I love this. I have already repurchased it. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is it Grande Lash MD? I'm not sure. Lash Enhancing Serum, Grand Lash MD. You get it at Sephora. It is sort of pricey. I think $65. I've already purchased another. Now, uh, when I finished um, the, my first tube of this, I used Rapid Lash later because it was cheaper. But it it did not it did not do the trick. By the time I was halfway through that tube, the good effects that I'd had from this were gone. And so I have gone back to this and I will not buy Rapid Lash again. I recommend this for anybody that wants to really build your lashes. I used to have real thick curly black lashes when I was young and as I've aged, they've gotten, I'm gonna call it blonde. Don't correct me, please. They've gotten a lot blonder and straighter and sparse and this stuff is magic. It doesn't make them black, but it does make them thick and long. Love it. Okay, oh wow, how appropriate. The next three are all mascaras. One is a, a travel size, uh, Monsieur Big. I've gone through these. I, I don't buy the full size tubes of Monsieur Big. Um, all, all of the higher, higher end uh, mascaras, I like the, the travel size because I feel like when you get the full size, they dry out quickly. I mean, drugstore does too, but it costs a lot less. Anyway, I've already uh, repurchased another one of these. Uh, and then CoverGirl Super Sizer in Waterproof. This helps hold the curl in my lashes, and I love it for a first step is what I often use. And then uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It is, it is great. It's totally dried up, so it's time to go. So those are my empties. Uh, what do you use on a regular basis? Uh, do you have anything that's groundbreaking, earth-shattering that you would like to share? Let me know below. Uh, so I thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye now. <laughs>